Hi, you're watching Skillsheen and in this video, I'll show you how to generate SSL certificate for Hive MQTT private cluster. Before that, let me discuss why is this necessary. Hive MQTT private cluster only accepts encrypted connection messages, which can be done only with the help of SSL certificate programmed in your ESP8266. So without this certificate, you cannot communicate with the private cluster even after entering your cluster ID and client credentials. I have personally tried the same without SSL certificate and the connection just does not establish. All the links to the files discussed in this video is in the description. Log in to your Hive MQTT private cluster and click on manage cluster. Click on getting started and then Arduino IDE. Click on little fs and download the zip file. Now click on the script link and download the same from github. You may also visit random nerd tutorials link for detailed article on little fs setup but I'll show you the procedure here. Launch Arduino old IDE. Uh, this did not work for me in the new IDE, so I am using the old Arduino IDE. Click File, Preferences and copy the path. Open a new explorer window and paste the path. Now extract the downloaded little fs and open it. Create a new folder inside the Arduino directory with the name tools. Now go to the extracted little fs and copy the folder from the name ESP8266 little fs. Paste it inside the tools folder. Recheck the path as mentioned in Hive MQTT page or random node tutorials. Now restart the Arduino IDE. You should be able to see ESP8266 little fs data upload option in the tools menu as shown here. So there are two options to generate the certificate file. I'll be discussing both the options and this is the first option. Open run terminal and type app data as shown here. Select Arduino directory and then ESP8266 folder and then the pin folder. The extensa folder will be same for most people and only the version given in the last name of the folder may change. Copy the certs from Mozilla file and paste it inside the pin folder. You may use any python id to run the script and I am using PyCharm CE. If you directly run this script, it will throw AR not found error. Just edit the script and find AR. In my case, it is in line 27. Go to the bin folder and find executable ending with AR. There are many executables, but only one will end with AR. Copy just the name of the file and paste it in the script as shown. Also remember to paste the same at the end of script. Line 76 in my case. Run the script and wait for it to complete. You will see a new folder called data inside the bin folder. 
This contains a file called search.ar. Don't edit or move it. Just keep it inside the data folder. I will now show you the second option. From the same folder as option 1, step back into the directory containing bin folder. From here, open the extensar-elf folder and paste the same code that you had downloaded earlier. In this case, you don't need to edit the fields that contain AR. Just run the code and your search file will be generated. As said earlier, don't move or edit it. Now using the little fs data upload option inside the Arduino IDE, you need to flash this certificate on ESP8266 board. I will show you the working demo now. Copy the code from the website and pasting it in the new sketchbook. Now change the Wi-Fi credentials to the Wi-Fi network that you want it to connect to. Click on Tools and then ESP8266 Little FS Data Upload option. A prompt will appear. Just click on No and then save the file. Close the sketchbook. Open the sketchbook folder and then the data folder. It will be empty. Open the data folder where you have generated the certificate file and copy it. Paste it inside the data folder of this sketchbook. Open the sketchbook in Arduino again. Connect the board and choose the port. Now choose the flash size. The certificate file would be 160 to 200 kilobytes, so you will need to select FS with anything more than 160 KB. In my case, the flash size is 4 MB, hence I chose this option. Now click on ESP8266 little fs upload and let it finish uploading the certificate. Remember that this will not flash the code but only the certificate file. After this gets complete, you need to unplug and reinsert the board. Now verify the code and upload it. Meanwhile, I logged into the web client and subscribed to the topic that was mentioned in the code with quality of service as zero. After code flash was complete, this is the serial monitor and the MQTT dashboard. As you can see, the message is being received by the MQTT broker. So this is how you generate the SSL certificate to communicate with your private Hive MQTT cluster. This video is just to explain the procedure of generating the certificate. So both the options work and both have same result. In my upcoming video, I'll show you how to communicate with ESP8266 using Hive MQTT private cluster to turn on or off the connected devices. If you have any queries, please comment and I'll try to answer it. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.